Introducing the seventh release in the 10 coin Queen's Bee series, the Yale of Beaufort. Skillfully crafted at the Royal Mint located in Lantrasant, Wales, this series first launched in 2016 with the release of The Lion of England and has followed with the release of two coin designs each year since. The Yale of Beaufort represents the second of the 2019 designs. Each of these coins contains two troy ounces of four nines pure silver. They are a legal tender coin with an official face value of five British pounds and fully backed by the Commonwealth of the United Kingdom. They have a thickness of six millimeters and a diameter of 38.61 millimeters. Condition is brilliant uncirculated. The edges are reeded. The capsule size is 39 millimeters, but the two ounce variety. They are available in gold, platinum, and silver variants. The reverse displays a depiction of a mythical heldric beast that commemorates the regal Yale of Beaufort. The Yale of Beaufort is representative of the lineage of both Lady Margaret Beaufort and her son, King Henry VII. The Yale of Beaufort is presented on top of a uniform chain mail background with the beast raised up on its hind legs behind a heraldic shield. The mythical creature proudly displaying its well-defined horse-bodied musculature and other physical attributes. This mythical creature displays very impressive long twisted horns, very imposing tusks protruding from its jawline, raised spots all over its body, a long mane, a whipping tail, and the beard of a goat. The heraldic shield with crest in the foreground displays a porticullus, which is a heavy vertical closing gate that fortified the entrances to many medieval castles, above which is displayed a royal crown. You will also find the name of the beast, the coin's weight, year of issue, purity, and the initials of the sculptor engraver Jody Clark. A statement from Jody Clark regarding his inception of this design. As the Yale is one of the more obtuse and mythical creatures of the Queen's Beasts, I did a lot of research into its background and its influence which has been carried through to modern day. It was evident with my research that the Yale has been depicted differently throughout the ages. But the most interesting aspect for me was its horns, as they are a constant feature in many depictions. I wanted this to be the focal point of my design, as well as maintaining its mystery and ancient heritage. Even though the Yale isn't a real creature, I wanted the design to portray the Yale as a creature of regal stature, and a creature which is both rare and magnificent. I looked at lots of images of animals such as wild boars, goats, bulls, and elephants to get the element of the Yale just right. The Yale is a mythical creature from ancient times and was often depicted to be white in color with gold spots, with the body of a horse the size of a hippopotamus, and with the tail of an elephant, the tusks of a boar, and the horns of an antelope that could swivel independently in any direction. In battle, they can attack with one or both, and if they want to show a more peaceful disposition, they can turn their horns into a more passive position. The Yale traditionally stands for proud defiance. The obverse portrays the regal right profile portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, created in 2015 by Jody Clark, on top of a galoche patterned background. You will also see displayed the coin's face value, as well as the Latin abbreviations D, G, R, E, G, F, and D, which stands for De Gratia Regina Fide Defensor, which translates into English as Grace of God, Queen, Defender of the Faith.
When Her Majesty the Queen was crowned in 1953, the entrance to Westminster Abbey was guarded by these ten heraldic beasts representing the entire royal ancestry of the Queen. These royal protectors were skillfully created by James Woodford. The beasts are some six feet high and weigh about 700 pounds each. They are works in plaster and so cannot be left exposed to the elements originally uncolored except for their shields. The beasts were on display outside of the western annex of Westminster Abbey during the coronation. The annex was a glass-fronted construction in which to marshal the long processions before the service. Today the originally sculpted Queen's Beast can be found at the Canadian Museum of History in Quebec while stone replicas, also carved by James Woodford, can be found in the Kew Gardens in the United Kingdom. My thoughts about the Yale of Beaufort silver coin. If you follow my channel then you already know I'm a fan of this series. The historical heritage of the royal family and the concept of the royal beasts that protect the monarchy is fascinating. The creation of the mythical creatures and how they tie into the family bloodlines also catches my attention. The artwork by Jody Clark is outstanding and I really think he stepped it up with this design. I have always liked the chain mail background and how it provided the depth and texture that allows the design and relief to really stand out. Considering this creature is a mix of many, I think Jody did quite well representing the majestic defiance this creature was meant to represent. That's not to say that I am without criticism. I would have liked to see the spots not be in a mirrored finish. I think it would have allowed a better representation of the color differences between the white and the gold spots. I think if the hooves were also textured rather than mirrored, it would have defined them a little bit better. I also think that the edge or rim of the shield could have been contrasted to center and emphasize the design within. Just little things that I feel could have taken this design over the top. The font is large enough and easy to read, especially when placed on the mirrored broad ring around the edge of the coin. I really appreciate the display of musculature and strength the creature portrays, and Jody always seems to have a knack for being able to achieve just the right expression with the head features. The fierceness of the eyes, shape of the jawline, and those magnificent horns displayed in opposite directions which is a trademark of this mythical beast. I really like how the flow of the beard was able to separate from the chest just enough so that it didn't get lost within the overall body. The ears bent back really helped to display the creature's overall aggression and defiance. Even the smallest details of the elbow hair help you to understand the beast's connection to the goat and antelope. Well done. I must say I continue to be deeply disappointed with the obverse. I understand that the decisions made in regard to design selection and refining fall upon the Royal Mint Advisory Committee and not the sculptor engraver. So I would respectfully implore that the committee consider raising the rim of the coin and or lowering the relief of the obverse effigy design in order to mitigate the ever-present friction marks, scratches that are evident from the manufacturing, minting, and handling process. As masterful as the obverse design may be, it appears that this mint engineering oversight has resulted in an unfortunate aesthetic detraction from the coin's masterful artistry that degrades the true potential that this coin series could actually achieve. 
I believe that an appropriate design revision that resolves this obverse issue on the remaining releases would only serve to restore the grandeur and respect this series was so skillfully designed to achieve. With that said, I'm still a fan of the series and look forward to completing the set. Here is a look at the first seven of the series so far. What are your thoughts about the Yale of Beaufort design? What is your favorite of the series so far? Let me know in the comment section below. For all who like, comment, share, and subscribe, thank you. I don't monetize my channel so it really helps the channel to grow and be seen by others. If you enjoy this content you can subscribe to the channel and then make sure you select the notification bell to be notified as soon as I post up new content.